Hey guys, what's going on, and welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast. Kind of a special episode, because my Feed the Beast crapped out on me, and it deleted my save file. Or, er, er, so I thought it did. I tried rebooting it, and it wasn't there, but I went into the, um, the folder, and it was there. So I went ahead and backed that up, updated, there's like a ton of new mods installed, so that's freaking awesome. And, um, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm just very glad that this is still working. I checked, and for the most part, I, er, yeah, everything's still there. Uh, but, as you saw at the beginning of the video, I went on quite a mining session. What are these? That's new. Huh. Is this... Hold on, guys. Hold on. We have to explore this together. Um, no, it won't be in there. Snooper. Huh. Um, I'm pretty sure this is like stuff I don't want here. Cheat mode, what the hell? No. Yeah, recipe. What the? F that's scary. That is. That's okay. Whatever. Whatever. Welcome back, guys. Look, diamonds. I got lots of them. So for the most part, this is going to be continuing off of last episode, uh, as we do still need to make the rock crusher, as well as like the clay thingamabob. I don't know what it's called. Um, but. Uh, we're gonna get pretty much right into that, so I'm not gonna be clipping right now. As far as I know, I'll probably end up doing it anyway. I really wish there was a way to compact redstone. I really do. Yep. That would be, um, very nice. I would love that. Oh, shit. I don't know what we're gonna use all of our diamonds for, because I literally have 64 now. <laughs> And I don't really know, um, I suppose that's something that I'll just have to see and wait about. But meanwhile, god, I forgot I have a ton in this as well. Yep. Meanwhile, though, um, so today, pretty much what we're going to be doing is we will make the rock crusher. Um, then we'll make that other furnace -y thing. I don't know what it is, because I totally forgot the name. But, um... I do know we're going to need it to make the rock crusher. So, I think what we will do is begin to do that right now as I <laughs> do my daily, I guess you could say daily stuff. I do play this game a lot now. Um, but, yeah. Anyways, uh, to do this, we are going to need rock crusher. Okay, block of steel. That's something I'll go over in a second. We, we actually, you know what, I'll walk down there. Why not? And as you can see, we do have enough for an enchantment, so that's going to be pretty cool. Um, I left this going. Okay. And it's stuck. It's a good thing. I was looking at this, and I was like, oh, no, it's broken. No, it is not borken. Broken, anyway, I mean. <laughs> um, it actually keeps it like it doesn't it doesn't automatically stop just because it takes so much freaking coal for one steel so i believe one two three four five six well you know what we have it now so whatever but very cool machine um i don't know how often steel is really used but uh it's there so you know we'll use it i suppose also we got something else iridium ore what is that well it is used in solar panels which is the only thing at the moment i'm really interested in that it makes but the best solar panel requires it and a whole crap ton of it so there we go block of steel um so yeah we'll we'll collect it when we see it obviously it's a precious resource for the most part and it's pretty important wow sensitivity going crazy again <laughs> but uh yeah I, I, as far as i know it's more rare than diamond it's something we're not gonna see a lot of but it's it's something that's there and it is something I will collect when I see it so that's the important thing 
man, these things are going to be going for a while. I'm going to put the rest of my ore in my ore box. Hopefully this isn't too annoying, me doing this on, on video or camera, whichever you prefer. Uh, we have a lot of lapis. Where does that go? It goes in here. Okay, sweet. Okay. Well, as far as I know, we have everything we need for the rock crusher. We need the four diamonds, the pistons, which is going to be a pain in the ass, and I will be back when I when I get those. Not right now, though. And we need, of course, the block of steel. So, yes, and, and that makes four of them, so we're going to have to make uh, three of these in order for it to be enough, I believe. They jip you like that. So that's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, twelve diamonds. We're going to need a lot more steel. Which I have covered for the most part, I believe. Yes, I do. This is all charcoal, correct? Yes, it is. I will take the 64 stack then. And we have um, the rest of the steel in the ingot box. So, I will be back when I got everything. And hopefully, we can, <laughs> we can do this with success the first time. See you then. And of course, while I'm waiting for all the stuff to be cooked and whatnot, why not do an enchantment? And I forgot the pick. <laughs> so yes, we are in fact going to be doing a pick, as I still have not gotten lucky. What the hell? Whoa. Man, I need to take a look at the mods I have installed now. So many new mods, I believe before 37 or 31. Don't really know. But there's 57 now, so that's like at the very least 20 more mods, which is insane. Um, that that I mean, you can wait. You can't wait. Okay, yeah, 47 pages now. That is just freaking insane. This is just. Can I make these? Can I... No, I can't. Okay, but I mean, what's this? What is this shit? This is awesome. That's what it is, guys. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so happy. Ah, uh, all this stuff. I've been... I've actually seen some of this on, um... When I was watching the Mindcrack group. But, oh, man. We have these now. Oh, so many building opportunities. That's why this is so big. There's just so many different kinds of strips and shit. They have their own freaking... 50 or so pages, but we'll look into that later. Right now, we are enchanting. Kablink! Uh, it's a good coal mining pick. Kinda. <laughs> it's something I will keep specifically for diamonds, which means we can use this for our everyday task for the most part. Um, which means I'm now going to be carrying three picks on me. But okay, Fortune 3, that's good. That is pretty good. Hmm. Well, while I'm waiting, I'm going to take a look at some of the mods. Maybe when I get back, or when you get back. Yeah, when I get back. Um, I can show you guys some of them. Or rather, I can um, explain some of them. Uh, but before I do go, I made these. And you won't believe it. There's something more op than the rubber boots, which are now fixed, I think. God, let's try these out. Shh, I dropped everything. All my boots. And they're 3D. <laughs> oh, my God. So much excitement in the past five seconds. Okay. Whee. Yes, those are, in fact, fixed, I believe. I'm going to have to test them out on a mob, but for the time being, Arrow is happy. He has his rubber. Oh, no, they're invincible. Well, you know what? I'll keep them in my inventory. Maybe we can try them out later. But good stuff. Yeah, the long fall boots means you can fall from any height. I don't like them, personally, just because I think that's insane. So yeah, that's it. See you guys soon. I have decided it takes far too long to make too many pistons. So we're just going to make 64 because <laughs> we have the resources to do so, which is awesome. That felt wonderful. You have no idea. So satisfying. And, yeah, sweet. We have enough steel. Beautiful. I have no idea where I'm going to put this. <laughs> it's pretty big, too, so... I don't know. That might be something worth <laughs> looking into on my part. But here we go. Er, here we go. What? 
Here we go. Jeez. I'm too embarrassed to even talk about that. I'm missing something. Oh yeah, I have to make the steel first, number one. Here we go. What the fuck? Yeah. So. Okay, Rock Crusher. Let's look this up again. Pistons, of course. That's why I made all the pistons. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Beautiful. And I think these go like this. All these go like this. No, not like that. Damn it. Ah. Okay. Bam. Sweet. We have enough. I love it. Okay. Uh, let, let's just test this out for one. Can I destroy this? Yeah, sweet. See, if I, if I couldn't destroy it and it actually broke, I'd be very sad. Even though I don't really have the right to, because I was stupid enough to hit it <laughs> in the first place. But that's okay. Yeah, okay, sweet. So that is, in fact, the shape. And the way this works is it's actually powered by pistons. So what I'm going to do is probably put it flush with a wall, I think. I think. Let's take a look down here first. Oh, man, it would be so perfect right there, wouldn't it? I think that's what we're going to do, even though back here is... You know, gonna be butterfly land or with that whatever the hell. Um, yeah, that is in fact what we're gonna do actually. One thing though, I want it to be able. I want to be able to put something called. Uh, I forgot what they were called actually. <laughs> they were like fillers or something. No, not that fillers like uh something else. Ah, I forgot what they were called, but basically, you can put stuff in them, and they will hold stuff until there's an opening down here so I can have three of them up here stack them with cobble stack the machine with cobble and then um well the thing can go for a really long time and I can AFK or do whatever but yeah there's an issue with that I don't know what it's called so um I will get back to you once I sort of set this up it's not going to be that interesting of a process I'll do the piston part with you guys but um yeah just because I have to wire the R route the wire I was about to say wire the route down here I need my coffee <laughs> see you guys in a bit hopper it's called a hopper see hopper how do I make it quite simple stone gear small amount of iron and a chest beautiful I say beautiful well I figure I might as well show you guys how I make this glass fiber cable since I have to do a lot of it um, and I think I'll make about 64 just because we have enough diamonds to do so. Well, no, maybe 32. Anyways, um, this is where silver comes in a lot of use, uh, because silver is not really used for anything else, for the most part, unfortunately, but that's just the case. So we're going to take three glass. We have diamonds, which we'll take like a mound of or something, half and half that, Put that down there, and then silver, of course silver not enough silver gotta go to the diamond chest babe yeah silver and s frick man I cannot believe I don't have enough silver that will never happen again I assure you silver having a having not enough of it that's unheard of unheard of I say okay so bam bam diamonds half the glass and we'll do this until we get enough. 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. Mm, we'll go with 6. Well, no. We'll, we'll, yeah, 60 works. 60 works. Okay. So there you go. That's how you make it, guys. Best cable in the game, as far as I know. Okay, well, here we go. We are now routing the cable. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I've dug somewhat of a, a cave in order to get damn I did it again I'm so bad at this but yeah I've dug somewhat of a cave and now I'm routing this I'm really uh, tied between the idea of maybe having an MFE separate down here it'd be really nice it could go on the wall the only issue with it is 
I don't really know how I would do it. And I would have to have an LV transformer thingamabob here and here. I would have to test it out in creative first because I don't trust myself. I don't want to blow all my machines up because that's pretty much what would happen if I screwed it up. <laughs> if I put the, uh, the low voltage thingy on the wrong way. But meanwhile, at least we have this. Um, and that is quite good. It's the improvement we need. So here we are. I'm going to clean all of this out. Uh, I believe the more electric thingies you have hooked up to this, electric uh, pistons, the faster it will go. And we want this thing going fast. That's crap. And I realized me snapping was kind of useless because you guys could not see me snapping. And it probably just sounded like I was hitting the mic. But that's okay. That is, <laughs> that's fine. Um, also going to have to power these. Don't really know how I'm going to do that from from right here for the electric thingies, but we will find out. Meanwhile, I'll just hold on to the copper cable. I'm going to go ahead and make a ton of electric furnaces, maybe make an MFE and test out the, um, the thing I'm thinking of. Uh, the only issue is it's going to look really bad because, let me show you what I mean, it's going to be centered on a wall that isn't centered, I guess. So we could have two MFEs, I guess. Um, that, that would be pretty cool. They're decently easy to make. They take four diamonds each and some iron, but that's that's fine for the most part. So uh, yeah, I think, I think that'll work. I really hope this works though. Um, but yeah, see you guys soon. Hopefully this works. Well, I just wanted to show you guys just for the hell of it, um, I popped into my creative world, well, my new one, since my saves got crapped on. What is this? <laughs> this is like a, a rice field biome or something. I did want to show it to you guys, though, so that's why I'm recording. Um, but let's take a look. It is... Oh, I can't see shit right now. I'm sorry. And I'm getting terrible frames. Wow. A river! How the freaking crap is this a river? Is this still a river? I can't, man, I keep... Oh, it's a marsh. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, a marsh. Right. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, and... An, whoa, hey. What's that? <laughs> Another thing I kind of see that changed that's weird is the solar panels are named different, differently now, and I believe this this is how they looked before. Not really sure, but this is supposed to be the super hybrid, and this is supposed to be the something else, and this is supposed to be something else, and this is just a regular solar panel. So, I'll test them out. Um, don't know what the hell I'm using, though. I'm very interested to see if my solar panels are different than this, because I can't find anything else. But also, holy crap, new turtles! Look at all them, damn. There's a freaking tree top turtle, there's all sorts of turtles. It's probably a turtle turtle somewhere. He, he, that's funny. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Well, it does look that these are different, these low solar something arrays, which is kind of depressing. Um, I'm wondering if I can still make mine. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on really, but uh, let's see if we can look these up. Yeah, that's, that's it. Looks like they've changed, unfortunately. Um, I do not think, I do not think that you can have the ones that go on at night as well now, which is kind of depressing, but at the same time, it's a lot more balanced, because now I have to worry about power again, which I have no problem with, for the most part. Um, so yeah, just something to think of. I will be testing out the other ones just to make sure, um, but... Until then, uh, <laughs> looks like we're stuck with this. Well, we have the high voltage and medium voltage ones up, and it does look like they're just like the other ones. So, man, I don't know. I'm going to have to take a look at mine. I, oh, They're going to be really guzzling energy. However, I guess this will open more time for more videos for other projects in this game. So, it's not that bad kind of is depressing at the same time though i was hoping <laughs> that that this wouldn't happen or that it wasn't the case but it looks like it was which that's okay I, I can deal with it i think um but what we have here is we have 
the crap, the, the solar panels hooked up to the MFE. This is the basic setup I have now, I believe. Um, I think that is correct. I believe. Let's test this out. Let's hook something up to it. Um, ah, I can't think of something off the top of my head. How about a electric furnace? Beautiful. And does this blow up? No, it doesn't. Now, let's see if we can make it blow up. What the hell? You're supposed to blow up. Okay, fine. We'll test something else then. We'll test something else. <laughs> oh no, you know what? I know what the problem was. Not even getting freaking power. No wonder. Now let's see if it'll blow up. Yep. Boom! Damn it. That's right. Boom. Okay, so. I have, in fact, proved my theory that, my friends, is what would happen to every single one of my parts <laughs> if, if, was, if it was hooked up incorrectly. Now, as you can see, I have power. This is pretty much the setup I have at the moment. Um, let's actually extend this out one and put a couple furnaces on here just so we can emulate it a little better. This is the current setup. Then we have a wire that's hooked up to pretty much what we this this portion the um low voltage dized version uh yeah <laughs> we we have it um so it's coming off the less high vo i don't know how to say that jesus whatever either way this is the less bad one i'm gonna stop recording now okay this is the one that has the stable voltage don't know what the hell that was. <laughs> okay. Anyways, uh, now we can hook up the MFE. This is basically what would be happening. However, this outputs 128 per second. So, once again... Huh, I'm surprised these aren't blowing up. What the hell? Oh, I think that's maximum output. I suppose we could test it. That's the, No, that's the in and then... Okay, good. It still blows up. That's a good thing, apparently, now. Um, <laughs> so, what we can do is we have it pouring in this way, going into a second MFE, which is, in fact, charging. That's good. It's, in fact, charging. Okay. And then, if we have this out here, it will, in fact, blow up that, as well as an electric furnace, I believe test it out maybe if we lever it why don't you work silly probably has nothing to pump onto but Yeah, the heat's definitely climbing on it. Um, I suppose just for testing purposes, we can try this out on... No, not a blast furnace. A rock crusher. And I really don't want to go over this episode. Last episode was like 120 minutes. And I'm, I'm seriously getting worse and worse with this, which is very bad. <laughs> and you guys like it, but I, I, can't, I can't keep doing it, unfortunately. Okay, so that's climbing. Let's hook up a couple more. No, damn it. Wrench. Wrench. That one. Okay, and then we can hook these up. Looks like these are actually stable. That's not right. Maybe it'll blow up because there's too much heat. No, no, it's capped out. Man, I tell you what, that... It, well, even so, for other things, we will, in fact, have to have to change this. But that, my friends, quite surprising. Huh. Well, I guess I'll see you guys back in the survival mode. Man. Well, I think that is pretty much it. We just have to make 
our machine blocks, which we will do then, right here, like I just did. <laughs> we have our energy crystals, which unfortunately we're going to have to drag every time because they don't stack for some stupid reason. That's one MFE. Two MFE. Yay. And I do not want to remove these once I do place them because in case there is still that stupid freaking glitch, I don't want it to happen. But we've already made our LV transformer, which is good. We'll place these down there. Um, and I guess it's time to place them. This has been quite the episode. Hopefully it's not too long. Once again, I wanted to keep this to like 40 minutes or so. But this is where we're putting them. Bam. And I'm actually going to go way up this line to about here. And let's see if I can get this correctly. Beautiful. I think that is... Yep. Good. Now I just have to get out of here somehow. <laughs> here we go. Beautiful. Hopefully that works. Otherwise I'm going to have a very big explosion. But we have that now. And now we can hook up MFE number one. Number one. Number... Not taking a chance here. Number two. Number two. Yay! MFEs. I'm so happy. Awesome idea on my part. Clap, clap. <laughs> okay. Now it's time to make the electric um, engines. And once I do that, I will be back. And I'm pretty sure... That is going to mark the end of the episode after we test this out, of course. But I'll see you guys when these are done. Well, here we go. I want to make these. Actually, I'm going to show you guys because I don't think I've made these before on this Let's Play. But we're going to put the tin at the top. And now the glass. And there we go. Electric engines. Beautiful. These are pretty simplistic. They ran off electricity. And that's pretty much it, <laughs> I believe. So... There we go. I'm going to put this tin up, of course. Now let's make our way down to the rock crusher where... You know what? No, no. Scratch that. I will meet you guys down there because I have to make some leathers. Leathers. Levers. There we go. Jeez. Okay. Eight leathers. <laughs> and by that I mean levers. Um, Because that's all we could really muster up with the electric engines. That's all we have, unfortunately. And I forgot my damn wrench, which will run up there real quick. Man, I'm telling you, I've forgotten so much, including how to speak in this episode. So, <laughs> although we have gained a lot as well, such as getting the Rock Crusher, which is freaking awesome. I'm seriously going to use this, like, all the time. Every every second in my episode, you will hear a big ding, because that's the, so, that's the na noise. That's the nows. Yep, that's right. Um, but yeah, that's what they sound like. So here we go. We'll put one here. One here, which I will then wrench. Another one here, another one here. We'll wrench both of those. I really hope this doesn't take up too much electricity. But we'll have to deal with that when the time comes. <laughs> and then we'll put the other ones over. Man, I really screwed that up. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. And now we just have to put this over here. Whew, and now it's lever time. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> I hope this works. I really do. Put one there. Okay, that's powered. That one's now powered. That one's powered, that's good. Okay. Let's get back here. Man, this jetpack so hard to jump just one block with it. I'm telling you. Hopefully this will power them. Is it powering them? I suppose I could... Yep, sweet. That's awesome. Now, one more. Or two more, rather. And that's it! Yay! We made it! I'm so happy and proud because I made something in a game. Yep. So that's pretty much it, I think. But that doesn't mean it's the end of the episode because there is a little more I want to do. 
one of those things being making well putting this back on for one and the other thing being this hoppers where are you you beautiful things no they're called hoppers I swear there we go hopper okay I need stone gears which I already have some that's awesome chest and I'm gonna need 20 iron so 20 iron three stone no 15 iron three stone gears three chests and I will be back once I have those no something's missing I think I broke something damn it was this the industrial centrifuge I swear to god oh my god it was something will die this day why did that break how did that break I am sad <laughs> that was so hard to make Damn it! Whatever, while well, we're up here, I suppose I'll show you guys how to make this. I'm, I'm really pissed. I don't know how that happened. And I don't have a machine block on me, so... I guess it just blew up. Who knows? Um... Yes, we have the stone gears right here. And we also need a chest. Chests. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And here we go. Three chest, stone gear. Uh oh, something's messed up. That for one. Oh no. How do I do this? Oh, backwards. Damn it. Yay, hoppers. Beautiful. And one stone gear to spare. So let's run down there real quick. I am really pissed about that centrifuge. It's a good thing it's the end of the episode, because I am I am raging, bro. Raging Cajun. Hopper, hopper, hopper. Sweet. So, how does this work? Well, first we put the cobble in, and as you can see, it's starting to go in. And this is pretty much sitting at a constant rate of being up there, and that will turn into gravel. Hopefully, eventually, I want this gravel to come out the side, back into the hoppers, because... As far as I know, you can't grind up all the good stuff you do happen to get with this. So, I think that's it. I really do think that's it. I'm pissed about the centrifuge, but that's okay. How am I getting no power? Oh, because that's... Huh. I didn't let it fill up. That's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope this was a long enough episode for you, I guess. Uh, it, I, hopefully it wasn't an hour, though. I've been trying to cut down on the length of episodes, just as they've been kind of crazy lately. I mean, 120 minutes, or no, an hour and 20 minutes, rather. And it's pretty crazy stuff. Um, and also... I don't really have all the time in the world to be only playing Feed the Beast, as I do want to do other games as well. But, you know, Feed the Beast is good, so I guess it's okay to indulge myself <laughs> every once in a while. But, guys, that's going to make it up. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. JK! Had to tell you something before I go. And... <sighs> guess what, guys? They've taken the centrifuge out of the game. It's just not here. And with that in mind, I think that in fact means... Oh, God. No. <laughs> Why? Oh, shit. That sucks. All of our good solar panels are gone. That's why our freaking power is getting sucked up. Oh, shit. No. <sighs> we lost the industrial centrifuge, and now this happens. Guys, the next episode is going to be about how we're on a freaking power crisis. <sighs> See you then.